Disclaimer. My fair maiden, fear not, I am here to take away your curse. How will I do that? Where you ask? Well, indeed, I will simply absorb the curse by putting it inside memes and therefore expelling it from our material world. I'm not sure why I have a sword for this, but good evening, laddies, lasses, and lasses. Welcome to the click. You are all fair maidens in my eyes. Oh, yes, indeed. Today we will solve the, all the curses of the world by absorbing them into memes and reading them together. That's how we expel evil together. Enjoy. <laughs> Can I actually wear my summer hat while having my headphones? Is this a thing? I want to feel summery today. I actually went outside today. I'm very proud of myself. Okay, great. <laughs> Good enough, I guess. Okay, this is perfect. I opened, sorry, thought it was my chew. Eh. <laughs> I, ah! I opened, sorry, thought it was my shoes. My bad. Mom, it's a bad dragon toy. Oh my God, isn't that a surprise for the whole family? This makes my spine hurt. Uh, you good, bro? <laughs> yeah, just tired. Oh my god! I feel this, though. Has anyone ever done that before? When you're feeling like an absolute wreck and something bad is going on in your life and someone asks how you're doing, but you also know it's kind of just them being pleasant so you don't want to unload the whole thing on them? <sighs> yeah, I feel that sometimes, man. God damn. But remember, you always deserve having someone to talk to. It is okay to ask for help, and it is okay to have friends that you can talk to about these things. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's suitable to talk with everyone about it. I mean, you know, uh, sir, it's a when this is, is kind of a meme for a reason, but you deserve to have people in your life that you can be vulnerable with and you can talk to. It is okay to ask for help, and it's also okay to just bounce things or vent or get things off your chest. It is a perfectly natural thing to do. Hey, what was that cool dream? Uh, what dream? Just now about the... Oh! I hate that! I hate... It's always the best dreams, too! It's like you're living paradise, and you're like, wow, finally, this Earth is livable. And it's like, no! You forget it! Bada bing, bada boom, and instead I remember some really creepy, weird dream about someone being stuck in a well when I was like five. Damn it, brain! Spider-Man 6, frick, how did I get here? True fact 3601. One of the freakiest inhabitants of the Spider-Verse is Spider's Man, plural. This Peter Parker fell into a massive colony of radioactive spiders and was eaten alive. His consciousness was absorbed by the hive, leaving him as a sentient horde of thousands of spiders stuffed into a Spider-Man costume. Oh, yeet, that's a fact of the day I did. Not need. Where's my brain removing my dreams and thoughts now? Why can't I remove the stuff I would want to remove? I said only good things. <laughs> God damn it. Well, I say, brave sir knight, I am going to climb up Rapunzel's hair to remove the cuss. And here is what she looks like while climbing that fine hair. Yeah, that's the thing though. Like, a human body weight is kind of a lot <laughs> to hang in your hair. Like, damn girl. Just got my Berserk Guts t-shirt. What do you guys think about it? I think nothing of it. On the other hand, you, milady, and I firmly believe that I speak on behalf of all Redditors. You are the most beautiful whammon I have seen on the planet. Redditors, assemble! Let's upvote this post so everyone can gaze upon this gorgeous queen. Oh, oh yes indeed. It's a femal. Never seen one of those before. Girls are not real. I think we have been betrayed. Uh, today's video is a little bit on crack, isn't it? What's the sword made of, man? Ooh, PETA made a tweet. Wow, I'm so happy. Let's see the wisdom PETA has decided to bestow upon us this fine day. PETA, this hashtag national self naughties day. Okay, take care of yourself while also taking care of animals. Animal friendly ways to talk about self pleasure. Beat the meat. No, 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 don't say that. Say tickle the pickle. Uh, shuck the oyster. No, no, flick the bean. Ah, so we're just murdering vegetables now? Disgusting. Whipping the weasel. <laughs> I've never heard that before. Tugging the turnip. Milk the cow. No, no, no. Juice the orange. Polishing the pearl. Buffin the vegan muffin. Flogging the hog. Mm -mm. Polishing the cucumber. I'm gonna be honest, man. If you wanna, like, have activism for animals and that kind of stuff, I'm not sure if changing whipping the weasel to tugging the turnip is, like, the big game changer. <laughs> This is gonna be honest. Don't get me wrong, it's actually kind of a funny tweet, but like, <laughs> bruh.
The next generation is gonna be a whole new spy, so messed up. Nice. Why wouldn't you just use like a like a like a little tripod for the camera instead? Isn't that like no? Is the kid supposed to be there as a prop? Is that does it have to be there? <laughs> Why? Calcium hyperproficiency is a rare complication of vitamin D deficiency where the excess calcium from bone reabsorption forms complex structures reassembling primary teeth. New formed teeth grow on different bones, such as the patient's hand, causing fractures and joint dysfunction. Here's a cute little picture wholesomely growing teeth. This must be British people because that's where their real teeth actually grow. Oh, that was a funny meme. You were like, why is he reading this in a British voice? And that was why all along. I think I'm gonna get cancelled by British people soon. If not the Danish, we'll see who does it first. Are you concerned about having ugly feet this summer? No worries, we got you covered. Look at this sandals with built-in feet. Wow. I can just feel how this gets really moist and soggy after a while. And it just sucks to your feet. And like the, it builds up pressure because of the moistness and you'll never get them off. And when you finally do get them off, your feet are like wrinkle deluxe. In 1783, a boy was born with two heads. The second head was upside down, which the neck pointed straight up. Shockingly, the second hand was fully functional. The boy claimed he could hear the other brain telling him things. This feels like it's some kind of character from like a Marvel universe, right? It's like, ah, oh, two brain, twice as smart as a regular child. And he's like telepathic or something. Hell yeah. I went outside once. Too many minorities. <laughs> Wait, what? What is this? I like to party, and by party I mean stay inside and harass women online. Oh, this is like edgy gamer posters. Yeet. Eat slur game repeat. Jesus Christ, dude. Just five more N-words. Oh, yes, can never have enough of those, I guess. Oh, my God. I do love the really satirical tone to all of this, though. It's really just taking a jab at the toxic part of gamer culture, which I think we all should. Like, dear God. You know, sometimes I think back on how the internet was in the early days and how it was kind of like a Wild West. We always romanticize it and be like, it was before it was so corporate and there weren't ads everywhere and people were building their own quirky websites and there were like forums that were not specifically heavily moderated and so on and so forth. And people think of it as the golden era. But my God, it was also really a Wild West and, and a lot of the change I think is uh, pretty good. Art Network. I shall baby Lego piece. Puzzle piece, and it's growing up, it's graduating. It's looking for jobs, but nothing fits, so he finally decides to saw his head off, and then he fits in this little square right here. I, uh, I feel this. This was basically me when I graduated uni. I was looking for my first job. Oh yeah, I can do this. <laughs> Considering priesthood, go! Believe, belong, become. Oh yes, indeed, Bible, go the game. I, that was a blast. I cannot stop thinking about this horizontally cut bread. Ooh, maybe you can use it for something. Maybe you can like roll sandwiches instead. Make a sandwich roll that's like this thick. I'm not sure you're gonna eat it, but maybe that's the thing. Hi there. Do you like Furbies? No? All right. Do you like biblically accurate angels? Also, no? Well, we are in luck today, because if you multiply those two negative things, it becomes a positive. Hashtag math, and it looks like this. Ooh, biblically accurate Furby. That's so nice. Now I just know for sure what all my nightmares are going to be about for the next two years. And that consistency is a pretty comforting thought. Oh, that's so sad. The balloon is stuck. Come on, dude. You can be the kid's hero. That is so nice. Risking your life for a balloon. I mean, I'm not sure if I would recommend it, per se, but uh, but that's a real champ. Look at that. He's got the balloon. He's gonna make that kid's day. That's amazing. You know, something we all can try to aspire to be. Oh. That's pretty sad. When your actions are misinterpreted, when you're just trying to... Did this has happened a dozen times? Why do kids keep losing the balloons there? Wait, what was that kind of... What? What is that bed? Appearance can be deceiving. What? Wait a second, so the moral of the story is that this toothpaste is misunderstood, but it's actually a good guy? <laughs> is that what this is? What? 
Someone said, 30 years ago, and my mind went, yes, the 1970s. But they meant 1993. Now I need to lay down. Ugh. I hate this. I hate, th I hate this so much. Imagine when it's going to be 2030, and like 30 years ago is literally just the year 2000. God, man. Deleted scene from King Kong. Ah, monkey climbing building. And here in this little nice office window, I don't think we can show this on YouTube, but there's some private parts, you see? The movie all of a sudden turned into a horror movie with <laughs> a significant gross amount of nudity. Thanks, I hate Dora Harvey. Yeah, we can't go around it. <laughs> we gotta go through it. The year is 1928, in Burbank, California. Walt Disney is about to create the most beloved cartoon character of all time. Hey, I could draw a rat. The horniest damn rat anyone has ever seen. Uh, drawing. Ah, that's the bastard. Now all he needs is a name. Horny Jeff. Ah, that's good, but it could be better. Horny Jeff. The f rat. Perfect. <laughs> Horny Jeff and the f rats would be a cool punk rock band name, though. Oh my god, that'd be amazing! Is this really how it went down, though? Is this the original name for Mickey Mouse? I feel like the comment section is gonna be up in arms about this, and there's gonna be a lot of fake news out there. Are you sick of kids s selling lemonade in summer? No? Well, to solve that non-existent issue, here's a lemonade! <laughs> <laughs> Someone swapped the Batman and Catwoman character models, and oh my god. <sighs> Fresh air, freedom, and darkness. Perfect. <laughs> I love this! This is so good! How should oh. we celebrate? I love sassy I know a Batman. Of poor defenseless museums. But then again, I also know a couple of hotels. Oh my. Tonight's not over yet. There's more work to be done. Of course there is. You do know how to kill the mood. Mm, yes, indeed, Batman. Do you ever take the night off? Or Catman, in this case. Do you ever take the suit off? Mm. Not on nights like this, Selina. It's what I do. Indeed. Fine. I guess I'll hit an art gallery or the two. The suit stays on while during audience. the big bad bats distracted. You're not going to thank me. Why? I like how that's like the doing? default constant move. He's like... Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, it's so good! I want this for all my games now. This is amazing. Pierrot, romance, David Brussel. But you're a horse. Ah, oh, nothing can stand in the way of true love, my queen. Oh, true love. Why would you, why would anyone read this? It's like, what's the demographic for this romance novel? It's like, oh gee, I am really fantasizing about my horse. So th this book really does the trick. Why does this exist? You know, when you go to the doctor and you're about to head into the examination room and you'll see this fisting room. Wow. That's a bit unnerving. Ooh, maybe this is like a martial arts place or like a boxing rink or something. And it's like, haha, fisting room. Get it? Because you're like, <laughs> yeah, we, we like to have fun around here. Eminem. I am very worried because this guy took a little taste out of, uh, out of the core of the M&M, so to say. Oh no, I'm so sad my kitty died! Don't worry, kid, the mail always goes through. Adult heaven! What the frick? <laughs> Kiddo, for God's sake! I remember, I was a really sweet kid when I was a kid. At least the parts I remember. Maybe I, like, hardly repressed the parts where I was not a good kid. But one time, I remember, I actually wanted to send gifts to Santa Claus. Because as a kid, I thought, hey, wait a second, everyone is getting gifts except Santa. He's the one that keeps giving. I want to give him some gifts. So I made some homemade candles that looked like ass, <laughs> and I wrapped them up and, and tried to send them to Santa Claus. And then I found out that my parents had hidden them in a closet somewhere a year later. And I was like, oh, Santa never got his ass candles. <laughs> What the frick? That was a sweet kid. That passed. Now I read memes for a living. Do you like going to the bathroom? Mm, well, we'll make sure you hate that. Look at this little toilet. This isn't that Wow. How would this feel? How would it- This- This is not good. Mommy, can you read me a story? No, baby. It's time to sleep. Mommy, can you keep the lights on? I don't want to sleep now. Uh, no, you should go to bed now. Click. My god. What was that? I don't even have kids. Why is there a bed? Mommy, didn't I say to keep the lights on? Next meme, please. Do you want to have a nice birthday party? What better thing than a cake? Let's make a custom Thanos cake. 
Here it is. Wow. This. <laughs> oh, snap. What a good cake. Nightmare fuel. It's nightmare fuel. It kind of reminds me of that moon in Legend of Zelda. You know the, you know the moon? Yeah, that moon. Only way to transform your body in three months. Ah, oh, it's like a silicon, uh, silicon thing. All right. Hell yeah. Let's go to the beach. As long as you wear that shirt, it looks sort of legit. Every military on Earth combined owns 133 million guns. American civilians own 400 million guns. Three times as many. If we were a threat, you would know. Wait, is this accurate? Wait, wait, what? So here's just some superheroes fighting, and their Spider-Man is getting heavily fisted. Isn't that just a little wholesome comic book? Muscular men just uh, living in the moment. So we just cut this little part out, and we slash this little saucer, put it in the holes, and it's, uh... Oh, it's a, it's a meat spinner. Um, yeah, cool. The autism simulator. What does it feel like to have autism? Autism awareness operation? Ouch, four years ago. When you put on the headset, it's just you, sitting at a computer, looking at the thumbnail of this video, thinking, What, what the frick? <laughs> it's just a <the> mirror. <laughs> Oof. You are a gift. Ooh, I kind of want to buy a mask that looks like this. And then, like, for, for, for your partner's birthday, you can be like, I am the gift. And then just wear a mask like this, and they're going to be horrified. And then they never ask for a gift again. Life hacks. Happy birth! <laughs> Ooh, this is a nice little cake. I like the genuine smile. Have you seen Smurf? No, I haven't seen him. Sorry, he was probably sleeping with the grass. Uh, what the frick did moths do before lights? Moths were actually the dominant predator before Thomas Edison created the light bulb as a defense against moths. Moths need complete darkness to grow to their human eating size. The history books won't tell you this because the government wants us to believe we're untouchable. Uh, uh, hey bro, no gay stuff? I need a favor. Uh, do, do I know you? Look man, long story short, I catfished a, a lady with your pictures, and she said she'll buy me a PS4 if I send her something with my shirt off. I am ugly as poo, bruh. Uh, here are some pictures. Get me some poo too, fam. <laughs> oh my god. Do people do- I remember seeing something like this though. Like a girl on Twitter was doing this, people were just tagging her, asking for catfish stuff, like, hey! I have this sugar daddy who's asking for a selfie while holding two spoons. Can you can you send this to me so I can keep the game rolling? This is like the same thing. People people actually do this. Wow, this is like a whole industry. How it started versus how it's going. Fashion is timely, style is timeless. Here's your before and here's your after. Reddit recap. Reddit Reddit recap. Reddit recap. You okay, baby? You barely touched your croissant. Oh my god, who would not want a croissant? Eat your croissant! Another heavy-handed symbolism moment. My mom has a potted sunflower in the kitchen. Because it is a sunflower, it keeps turning towards the light from the window. My mother keeps rotating it so it faces inward because she wants to see its beautiful petals and have it really brighten up the space. The sunflower is visibly wilting. That is very symbolic for like when parents push their kids just a little bit too far, in perhaps not the right direction. It's, uh, I've seen this this kind of stuff a lot. This very much encapsulates the vibe of the whole Insane Parents subreddits. Uh, babe, don't forget to put the biblically accurate angel on top of the tree. That is beautiful! I need to get this! This is amazing! Why do we have a star? Pfft, freaking stars! Biblically accurate angel! Heck yes! No heathenness in this household! Gen Z couples, here's the boy and here's the girl, oh my god, couple goals, mm, I am so quirky compared to the other girls. Garfield comics can be substantially improved by cropping off the third panel. Here is a carrot for your diet, Garfield, you know what to do with it. <laughs> I certainly do. Garfield! Oh! My pearls are officially clutched! Oh, I actually, this reminded me of something, hold on, hold on. So there is a thing... That was like a phenomenon a bunch of years ago, and there's an entire subreddit dedicated to it as well. And it's called Garfield minus Garfield. I, I, I even bought this book, and I have one that's like sealed as well because collector stuff. Well, I bought it for like 20 bucks, but <laughs> it's really funny. So it says Garfield without Garfield. It's like stuff like this. Ah, oh, I got a cramp in my hand. What should I do? Mm -hmm. And it says, because Garfield has removed everything, has like a weird insinuation to it. It's so freaking funny. And sometimes John is just uh, perceived as a complete um, uh, raging lunatic. It's really funny. I would recommend checking it out. It's super fun. Our cheeseburger is a dead cow covered in its own lactations. 
<laughs> was this meme made by PETA? This reminds me a lot of that, like, uh, self naughties day post. PETA, please. Imagine having braces during the apocalypse. No one can take your braces off, and you just have to accept that you'll have braces forever. I want a novel focused around a character with braces during the apocalypse, and the entire plot of the story revolves around their search for an outdoor northernorthist who is still alive, and they sort of accidentally save the world in the process. Titled, Brace For It. That would be kinda good. I want this movie, can someone make this movie? Can so I have such a long list of movies I want to be made now, or maybe I'll make myself, but I think it'll be bad if I make them, so feel free. <laughs> oh, I can be a voice actor, though. I, I can be the braces. America sure is having some bad luck. It's almost like it was built on an ancient Indian burial ground. <laughs> yeah, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Okay. It's just, it's super thin. I mean, don't get me wrong, it looks nice. It's decent floor planning, but, but it's like living inside a wall. For two million dollars. Yeah, two million dollars, gee, that, that's sad. That's sad, though. Wait, why is there a toilet just in the, randomly in the corner? Wait, there's no actual bathroom? The shower and the toilet is just in corners of the bedroom. That's it. You just poop over the same floor as you sleep on. What? I mean, don't get me wrong, some of this floor planning is actually kind of nice for, like, compact living or, like, you know, one to two people apartment spacing, sort of, but, but for two million bucks? Damn, man, the housing market really isn't fun. Foundation Chiropractic, Pelvis Presley. Your pelvis will say thank you. Thank you very much. You know, there is, there is marketing, and then there is... What the f***? Oh uh, my god, he's being ratatouilled, and ratatouille is being bugatouilled, and bugatouille is being... Tardy Greta Twilled, and Tardy Greta Twilled is being amoeba Twilled. Put some basil in that poo. Amazing, amazing. You see, there's always one more layer. Reality is complex. One time I accidentally went to the men's washroom instead of the women's. I only found out after I opened the pad and the person in the stall next to me said, Oh dude, it must be a huge poo if you're having snacks in here. <laughs> Good luck. I choked on my water. <laughs> you see? The bro code in the pooping room. I love this. This is so good. You see? Beautiful. At least then you won't feel stressed about, you know, pooping in a public bathroom. People are just rooting for you. This is so nice. Noah harvesting the floating bodies of the dead sinners to feed the ark animals. Isn't that cute? All the animals are eating meat. <laughs> I remember that conspiracy post from a while ago when someone said that Animals only start eating meat after humans started eating meat. Everyone was a vegan before humans came along. But in reality, it was actually like this. They were forced to eat meat to survive. It was the only available food source. Uh, human meat of that. Mmm, yum. Source? Here you go. I don't want a source. I want you to be wrong. Ooh, this is just Twitter in a nutshell. What a treat. The dildo of consequences rarely arrives lubed. Oh, that is very true. Yeah, it's it's usually lush, lush, just a little bit of a kashmakadoodle, isn't it? My kid created what I thought was the angry rage boner poop fly guy, but then I flipped it around. So here's the first image, and there's the second. Ah, uh, yeah, I like the second one more. <laughs> It's really nice, though. Your kid actually created one of those images that you flip upside down and stuff, and it's like, oh, is it a duck or a cat? You know, one of those images. Uh, not even on purpose. That is like some skills. Ah, bing! Ah, well rest- uh, Oh, it was just a dream. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh. <laughs> I feel this! The human brain can detect patterns, let's test it out. So here's a little anime girl, but like if you squint, or like make the picture really tiny, you can see Jeff. Yeah, look at that! That's amazing! It's like, waifu? Jeff! Waifu? Jeff! It's, it's very fascinating. The brain is weird. You know, all those kind of weird AI things, or when they mistake captchas for stuff, make so much more sense when the human brain even does like this, you know? Uh, shouldn't angels have wings that are covered in skin? Like, why would they have feathers? So not like this, but like this. You see, demon wings. Demon wings or bat wings. They're both badass. Here is a little child drawing of a horse. And then you say, oh my god, what a silly child. They couldn't even get the horse right. But you would be wrong. It's actually an accurate picture. Here's the real life horse. You can imagine that if a kid comes with this drawing and be like, no, mom, I promised the horse did look like this. And then it actually did. Wow. Real life NPC. Oh, nice. We got some breakdancing going on. Hell yeah. That's cool. Ah! 
Oh my god, this gives me like 2000 GTA vibes. This is so good. Yeah, baby. You have like three emotes and they just randomly cycle. Oh, that's so good. He pulls it off really well. That is so good. Imagine what we can do with this land, Lewis. Oh, I can almost see it now, Clark. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so... Oh, God. Our first client, effective transformation. We made a total facelift, 25 puln and permanent eyebrow makeup, 900 zl. So here's the before and here's the after. The before looks really nice. What happened to, what happened to the eyebrows, man? I don't... What? This makes me concerned. Corn dog, and here's a corn dog. <laughs> Very nice. Stop throwing random items at the spiders! But but they're after us! Whoa, you actually wiped them out. Uh, what what did I hit them with? Potion of invisibility. <laughs> they uh, <laughs> They could be anywhere by now. Ooh, this would be good for D&D &D adventure. It's like, you, s you feel stuff crawling on your legs, but you can't see anything. And it's just invisible spiders. And per, like, fantasy logic, they always lose the invisibility when they first attack. But by the time they have engulfed you in spiders, that's when they start attacking. So you just instantly die and get consumed by spiders. And then you turn into that Spider-Man that was a bunch of spiders inside a spider suit. Wow, what a twist. Reminder that the Los Angeles Federal Courthouse has a statue of Abraham Lincoln where he's a shirtless young stud, suggestively tugging at his waistband like a Sports Illustrated swimsuit model. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? They should just do this with every historical person. Would, wouldn't that be nice? If cartoon pets were real. What do you mean multiple pounds of lasagna? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, the Flintstones, that's very relatable. Haha, <laughs> it sounds like he's saying Shaggy. The, the video's gonna get so many likes. And here's a little Pikachu, and oh my god, that's so dark. And here we got the little Mickey Mouse universe, that is, uh, damn, yeah, this reality sucks. Reality really sucks, I'm glad cartoons aren't real. Do you remember how uh, the whole debate about Ariel and Little Mermaid and that kind of stuff, and how, how the whole internet blew up? How Ariel should have really looked, but okay, there you go! Everyone is miserable! I've had enough! Also, there is a very large pumpkin in my butt. Ah, great. Thank you, fellow meme poster. I see that you are an individual of culture. Free hugs! Yay! <laughs> you know, in Swedish, it's not rock, paper, scissor. It's sten sucks påse, which means rock, scissor, bag. Yeah, it's a bag, because you put the rock in the bag or something. I guess that's the logic. I mean, I don't know what the logic is with the paper beats the rock either. It's like, what, you're gonna give the rock a paper cut? Is that really how you think it works? You know, material and, and, and solid mechanics and all that kind of stuff? No, that's not... The frick? Uh... Oh. Okay, it's getting a bit wild. They're really chugging along, aren't they? It's sort of derailing a little bit. <laughs> Man, I, I love myself some uh, Thomas de Fondle engine. That was my favorite series as a child. We have guests coming! Get out the good plates! Mmm, yes indeed, I love it when my plate stares back at me after I've finished a meal. This is what happens when we drain pumpkins of their spice. Think twice before you order that latte, look at this poor pumpkin! Was this post also made by PETA? Maybe they're expanding to like pumpkin rights now, that wouldn't surprise me. I can't identify a single thing in this picture! Am I having a stroke? So let's take a look at the picture, so here we got... Is that sort of a... Jacket. I think it's a. Is that a couch in the back? Maybe. Is this just a like AI generated picture from five years ago? Is that what this is? It feels like that's what it is. This is like a reverse captcha just gone muck. What are some guy secrets girls don't know about? The average guy is so starved for positive attention that a simple compliment is enough to get him interested in you. Ah. Man, that's sad. I had a girl compliment me in September of 2002, on the day I was gonna game over. I think about that compliment nearly every day. I have it tattooed on me. Oh my god! That one tiny compliment, an honest, simple, and throwaway phrase, gave me a spark of self-worth. I clung to that spark and fed it the best I could, knowing I wasn't 100% worthless, ugly, and stupid. That saved my life. Years later, my dad told me how proud he was of me, and why. I knew he loved me, but I had always thought he was kind of ashamed of me, that I was foolish and embarrassing, like I was the fish knife or the bent spoon in the silverware set on my family. 
I wish he hadn't been on his deathbed when he told me. Be nice to people and give them compliments. Tell people how you feel. As I've gotten older, I've realized how many of us are lonely and full of self-doubt. It's actually most people. Give them some compliments. If you think someone is looking good, tell them. If someone is funny, tell them. And if someone says something clever or helps you, tell them. Even if you're purely selfish, if what you say is honest, then they will remember you fondly and treat you kindly in return. So you'll make your own life better as a result. That is such a sweet sentiment. This is like, just make the world a better place. If everyone just treats each other with a little bit of kindness, it can make such a massive difference. And that's one of the most beautiful things, I think, about spreading some small nuggets of positivity here and there. Because even the small things can just cascade into a huge difference in someone's life. That is really beautiful. That is really beautiful. Uh, Crash Bandicoot is just Sheen's persona, so here's... Next meme! I can do your baby's nails. PM for info, cheap rate. So here are the baby's nail for Jesus. Why did it God? Just <sighs> Bork or a foon? I mean, I can kind of see the usage for a spork, right? It's a bit of a multi-purpose. What do you use a foon for? It's just a crappy fork. Hmm, $750. How can you charge so much? I could do that myself. Then do it. Well, I don't want to. Okay. Hmm. Stop charging what you're worth! <laughs> I see this on Twitter from artists and stuff I follow all the time. People in the DMs be like, Can you do this for free? And they're like, No, I don't do this for free. And they're like, You should because your art sucks. And it's like, Why would you even come to me if you think it sucks? <laughs> like, Jesus Christ, man. She's just a little friendly, smiley little pancake. And then it go, Oh, God. Oh, that's a very intense smile. Do you want proof that snakes had legs? before humans stole those legs. Here's the proof. The ancient texts don't lie. Gen Z, millennials. Hey. Hey. Wanna watch the world crumble before we are even 40? British Prime Minister resign. New Germany Chancellor is committed to rearm Germany. Japanese ex-Prime Minister assassinated. Chinese President modified customization to make himself an emperor. And Russia is bogged down in a war with a weaker neighbor. Looks like it's all coming together, folks. <sighs> At least we can snuggle up together in our bunkers. I want to feel you inside of me. Blech. Yep, that's what it's all about, baby. That's what it's all about. I can smell the love from here. Ooh, it's a little eye rock. I collect rocks, paint dice on them, and return them to the landscape to be found or lost forever. Ten picks. This is beautiful. This is spreading just the right amount of chaos into the world. I very much endorse this. Shoutouts to this guy! You're supposed to color him in with the crayons, but he looks way funnier like this, I think. It just looks like a marshmallow Mario. This is a Mario's default form. He applies the crayons on every day. Ooh, it's like makeup. He does the makeup, but for his body too. Does he just draw? Wait a second, is Mario nude all the time? He just goes around with body paint? Is that what you're telling me? That's pretty, that's pretty interesting. Thinking about the girl from Katamari who is photocopying a melon on the street. Wait, is it actually printing a melon as well? Does this work for real? Someone filmed bats upside down and it looks like a goth nightclub. I like this though. This looks like a vibe. This looks like a bunch of retired vampires finally getting it together and they're just partying and being drunk. This looks amazing. I want to go to this party. It's so cool. Look at them. This is amazing. Bats really know how to vibe. What a vibey creature. It looks like their balance is really off though. It looks really funny. Oh, 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 careful now. That is beautiful. Creatures, man. Well, laddies, lasses, and lass, I do hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it and having you hear you absolute wonderful, beautiful bean. And I hope to see you in the very near future. Take care. Mwah.